What's going on, everybody? It's going for the latest news. And can we give our brother, Country Wayne, a shout out for his his interview on Club Shay Shay and how he came up and the things he had to go through and um looking out for his family. <laughs> like, we're not going to talk about Country Wayne's um um interview on Club Shay Shay and how 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 well spoken and well mannered he was and how clean he was with everything. And this is no 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 shot at Cat Williams. I love me some Cat Williams, man. That's one of my favorite comedians. You know what? Uh, you know he did his thing or whatever on Club Shay Shay. He he spoke a lot of truth on certain things that he you know went through or whatever. You know Country Wayne. You know he. He he said his truth, but he did it in a different way. You know, he did it in more of a respectful way. And I, I ain't gonna front. I watched Country Wayne come up from, <clears throat> excuse me, from small Tom to what he is right now. It's just I remember watching him on Facebook. He's always had me in knots with his uh, his skits. I'm talking about his earliest skits before he started. You know. Getting um other people involved and in what he was doing, you know, family. He he's well family orientated, which which I am also. He's very he makes sure all his family is is straight, uh, and it's just you know we we gotta really like talk about it because he really inspired me to to go even harder with what I do, you know, to give you guys. You know information that I may know whether it's about sports, you know, wrestling, whatever. Um, I do it all here, but I just gotta give Country Wayne his flowers while he's still here because, man, he that and it was funny too. You know, it wasn't just him speaking his truth about how he came up and stuff like. It was a funny interview too. Like he said a couple of funny things too, and it was very clean. You know, <laughs> it was very clean. You got to, you know, respect that um, a, a very clean comedian like Country Wayne because he's so clean and, and it's so kind hearted. It's just like he's a rare breed. Like he's really a rare breed when it, when it comes to like comedians. Like he really like changed the game when it comes to upcoming comedians and how he came up and. You know, uh, the things he had to sacrifice, you know, he lost his mom at a young age. You know, he he was 11 when his mom's passed, so he had a lot on his plate. Then, and then he became a father at a, um, a very young age as well. He uh, man got 10 kids. Jeez, like 10 kids, and he still made it happen, you know. And he made sure all his baby moms, you know, whatever the case may be, was straight. And to this day, he still makes sure they straight. It's just, he's a rare breed. Like, I never, and he just, everything's so clean with him. Like, you don't, he don't curse. He don't do none of that stuff, you know. And, and I really, like, like I said, I, I saw this man come up small time on Facebook with his um, earlier skits. And he had me in nuts, man. He had me in nuts. I'm, I'm glad that he blossomed into what he is today. He he definitely deserve it. You know, he great father to his kids. He he sacrificed everything everything to make sure his kids was straight and he had his kids. Like, what more can you ask for for a human being, a black man at that, for known for not take care of their kids or whatever the case may be. But he man, I, I heard I listened to the um to the interview on Club Shay Shay and I was just like I was just like amazed at what he had to do to get to where he had to get to. And like I said, he kept it classy. He was funny. You know, it was this it was this a, a class act by Country Wayne. So I just wanna give my shout out to Country Wayne, man, and, and such an inspiration to um do things in the right in the right way and, and, and on the right path and just and even with the negative comments he may get towards him, he he block he, he like he said he blocks all that out, and he just continue to do his thing. You know what I mean? He don't really because you're gonna have haters regardless of if you're a nice person or you take care of your business. You're gonna have you're gonna have somebody hating on you regardless. So he, I guess he realized that, and he's like, you know, it is what it is. That stuff don't bother me. You know, 
I'm going to still do me and, 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 and get this bag. And that's what he all about. It's his bag, man. You got no choice but to respect that, you know. So I just want to say shout out to Country Wayne. Shout out to Uncle Shay Shay too, man. Shout out to Uncle Shay Shay, you know what I mean, for such a great two weeks um, of, of a good um, guest that's been going up there. I mean, what was it? Uh, a week or two weeks ago, we had the Cat Williams thing. That's that's still being talked about and still being watched uh, up to this day. But we got to um, give Country, um, Country Wayne... His props. He he came up from the struggle. He didn't he didn't take no shortcuts. He you know he came up doing his own thing, um, his own thing. You know what I mean? No 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 uh doors he went through. You know what I mean? He did his own thing. He's independent. You know, and we gotta get credit when credit's due. And he like I say, he's clean with everything. You don't hear about no nothing about this man like. <laughs> And he's funny too. On top of it, he's funny. You know, what I mean, for those who don't know Country Brain, y'all could go check his workout. He, he got a YouTube too. I didn't realize he was on YouTube. I, I found him out through Facebook. I didn't even know he really had a YouTube. But I'm gonna make sure I subscribe to my brother, man, because like such a class act that he is. You know, he just you no know, non drama free. You know, he just I don't know rare breed. I'm gonna just say that rare breed, rare, real rare, rare breed brother, man. And I just want to give my brother his flowers while he's still here. You know, for 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 uh to actually you know be on Club Shay Shay a week two or it was a week two weeks prior to Cat Williams being up there. That's big for him, like that, and well deserved, like. And he, 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 you know, he was, you know, he didn't really say much about um the whole Cat Williams thing. He was just, you know, cracking jokes about, dang, like, oh, since Cat Williams been here, you know, in the seat, it's, you know, make me want to speak my truth, you know. <laughs> but that was pretty fun. Like I said, he was funny during the interview. Um, I mean, podcast of um Uncle Shay Shay. It was just such, and and, and his, you know, his his takes on on, on how he. What he went through and what he went through, you know, with women and just it was a it was, I felt like it was a great interview as well and it should get as just as much clout as what Cat Williams has gotten, you know, it it should definitely get the same amount of of, of views in my opinion because it was it was such a great interview and I, like I said I don't want to give my my brother a uh, um, country Wayne his followers while he he here so but you guys let me know what y'all think. Like, share, comment, subscribe.